used the hair throughout the whole video you see any lifting i didn't put any glue or anything i was just i just put on the wig and kept it going I made like three videos after and I never acknowledged it but thank you guys for supporting and liking my video of me making the nude pink lip gloss it's so cringy when I look back at it because it's like ah uh, I wasn't like I was like oh it was so cringy I don't like the way how I talk I was just I make lip gloss kind of different now like I start with like the pigment and the oils first then I put on the base but you. if you guys want me to do like a remake of that video of how i do it now like let me know in the comments like i can also do other shades if you want me to but it's, whenever i look at that video i get so cringe but uh, apparently it's very like it's educational like it's very but thank you you know i'm cringing like i'm cringing it has like 50 000, 15 000 views i'm cringing because it's like ah, i didn't even put my all like I was just like, I'm going to record. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Just, let me be grateful. Thank you so much, guys, <laughs> for liking and supporting that video. Um, yeah. You guys are wondering where I got my lashes from. I got it from Naked Lashes Co. In the style Oxy. No, this is not sponsored, of course. But, you know, sometimes people would DM me asking what lashes I got it from. And let's get right into this video i have to be really specific and in depth of how i do things just because it works for me doesn't mean it's, it's gonna work for you but this is one of the best methods in order for you to gain sales not even a traffic on your website i'm talking about conversion any other way i feel like it doesn't work as yeah, the fact that I've been stalling this highly requested video because it, I knew it was going to take some time for me to actually um, sit down and not learn my words and not, um, and also the editing process, I knew, I don't like editing. I think that's why I don't post as much videos. Like, I don't really like editing. Like, it's, it it's, uh, annoys me. Technology kind of annoys me because I would edit, like, a 15-minute video and then, everything crashes and that really gets me to like it. so yeah this video is highly requested on how i get sales and conversion well sales on my website of course conversions and how to do it correctly not a lot of people um know this method and from the beginning i didn't know the method i was actually using just strictly instagram ads and i noticed that it was just getting um people to follow whereas um people not like purchasing as much like out of like the hundred people that follow like two people would buy an item or one per one person would buy an item and it was kind of frustrating because it's like you're wasting money on advertisements and you're not getting that um profit that you like the max profit that you want to achieve in this business you're not trying to do have this business to pay Mark Zuckerberg. No, you're trying to pay yourself. You know, you work so hard. You thought of the formula. You thought of whatever you're selling, and most of your money is going to Mark Zuckerberg on Instagram, and Facebook. Like it's, it's it's annoying. So this method can apply to if you're selling lip gloss, if you're selling candles, if you're selling clothing, if you're selling sneakers. It doesn't matter. It, it could apply to anything that you're selling. To be honest, anything. Um, unless you're selling like, you know, the, the ganja and stuff, stuff like that, you know, Facebook and Instagram do, you know, restrict certain things. But if you're, if whatever you're selling is, um, will get passed through the, uh, approval of advertisement, then you're good. How to increase sales using ads the correct way using Facebook ads and Instagram ads. So how I see Facebook and Instagram ads, I see them as, um, they're two different things 
into one if that makes sense um most people they don't they advertise through instagram it's cool but what i recommend is to open if you don't have a facebook business account you have to have one like you have to so create a facebook account um then create a facebook business page you don't have to use the personal your personal page if you don't have a facebook page like so if you have a facebook already cool just open up a business page for your business if you don't you have to sign up a facebook then open up a business page a business like page and so you can get a business manager account. You want a business manager account to set up your, your ads, to set up basically to manage your business. Like you need that. It's essential. Then you're gonna want to connect your business account to your Instagram business account. You have to connect the two. So whatever you post on your Instagram is gonna go to your business, um, your Facebook business page, et cetera, et cetera, vice versa. It's gonna do the same. And I'm saying you have to, it's gonna be really beneficial for your business. I'm saying beneficial for your business because you remember your business, Facebook business page is connected to your business man manager. Since your Instagram business page is connected to your Facebook business page, they're all connected to that business manager account. And that business manager account is where you're gonna set up ads. And both your Facebook, the ads that you're gonna set up there is gonna go to both Facebook and Instagram in one. So it's like two in one. Like you setting up ads on that platform and it's gonna go to both Facebook and Instagram. Whereas if you just do Instagram ads, like you're posting ads on Instagram, it's gonna go strictly just to Instagram. And now, since you have your business manager account, what you're gonna be looking for is your Facebook um, Facebook pixel. You have to set up a Facebook pixel. Um, anything after this, I forgot to put a disclaimer in the beginning, but anything, um, I forgot to put a disclaimer in the beginning, but I um, use Shopify. I feel like Shopify is actually the best for what I do. Um, so I don't know how it would work for Wix or any other platform, but right now I'm just referencing for Shopify. So what you're gonna do, you wanna set up a Facebook ad pixel. That part, I feel like that one is a little like tough for me to explain. Um, I, the way how I learned it, I looked at this video. It was so, like he made it so easy for me to set up a Facebook pixel on the business manager business manager to my Shopify website I'm gonna link that video in the description below so you can follow those steps like he really like dumbed it down for me cuz I'm not but he really he really lowered it down to a standard of where I can understand how to set it up so definitely check him out in the description box below very very informative so for those that don't know what is a Facebook pixel Facebook pixel is an analytics tool of your advertisements it just means that Facebook will track the um, visitors analytics of what they're doing on your website if they're clicking on add to cart if they're clicking on purchase if they're clicking on home if they're clicking on wish list so it applies to any website so if they went to Fashion Nova and they was at the makeup section. I saw lip gloss. So they was at the makeup section on that Fashion Nova and it was like they was most likely to buy Facebook. Fashion Nova used Facebook pixels to know that like that person was most likely going to buy a beauty item. So they probably had, they most likely had an ad that was saying, oh, they had makeup and they targeted that um, significant individual to their website that will most likely purchase makeup. So when creating an ad, you would want to avoid um, posting your ad as uh, tracking, tracking, trafficking, engagement, because Facebook would, you're paying Facebook, remember. So you're gonna be paying Facebook per person that just clicks on your ad, clicks on your page. Like Facebook wants the money, so they're like, okay. 
you want somebody that's just gonna come on your page not even on your website just come on your page or just come on your website not do anything thank you thank you for that thank you for the dollar you know i did my job i targeted the person that is most likely just gonna click on your ad so facebook is gonna target the people that are the clickiest that will just click on ads and not do anything so you're wasting your money and you're giving facebook all of your coins and you didn't benefit from it at all because you were just tracking people that was just that just clicked on your ad checked out your website but didn't do anything that was a mistake i used to make like i just use um tracking not tracking i use engagement as in like go to my instagram page so they can see my little portfolio my i call my instagram page my portfolio and then they check out my website and i would look at my website analytics and nobody that day would add to cart nothing like it would just be 300 visitors and not one single add to cart and that's when i knew okay this ain't right i gotta figure out how to get the sales because I, I'm getting traffic but I'm not getting sales not even a click to add to cart so that's when I just did my deep research and I stumbled across this method and ever since then it's been great so you want to avoid any category of like consideration or awareness because it's not something that's going to lead to conversion you want something that's going to lead to a conversion category specifically the conversion pixel when choosing conversions facebook will show ads to people that will most likely do the action like convert it's a valuable action so you're choosing that valuable action on the business manager and like my valuable action is purchase not add to cart not add to wish list purchase because i want sales i want the visitor to convert into sales so yeah when you want after selecting conversion when you're creating the ad you want to you want to select oh my god that was a popcorn kernel you want to select the conversion events like what i said before there's different there's different type of conversion events there's the add to cart so when you select that one and you complete your ad it got approved you're gonna get people that's just gonna add to cart when you select the conversion event, add to wish list, you're gonna get people that's gonna add it to the wish list. When you select purchase, Facebook is gonna target people that's the audience that you're looking for. So I'm, I sell lip gloss, so I'm looking for people that's into beauty, that's into lip gloss, of course, that's into basically anything that's like in the beauty world, that category. And Facebook is gonna narrow it down the people that is most likely gonna purchase. Like they know their analytics already and they're just gonna bring those people to me. They're gonna make those people see my ad and they're gonna purchase it. Like they're not gonna waste no time. They're gonna purchase it because there are analytics that they are most likely gonna purchase. I'm not saying any all every single visitor on your website is gonna purchase. No, I'm saying that you're gonna get more sales using that function because they're they're most likely gonna purchase instead of just cruising around on your website so yeah make sure that you are not too broad or too specific with your audience that's that's a key too and facebook is just gonna do its thing where it's gonna search for the people that matches your audience and also matches your purchase event purchase event conversion event and let's say conversion event is our the conversion event we want is purchase so the purchase conversion event and they're gonna convert they're gonna purchase so when they see that um thank you for thank you for shopping thank you for purchasing page facebook can know that they purchase because they probably had that they were probably buying cosmetics on a different website and they had landed on that same type of page of thank you for purchasing so facebook is gonna they want their coins they're gonna get the people that's gonna convert because when they convert when a person convert like uh, what a cpr CR, crp i'm not into the i don't know i forgot the abbreviation but the <clears throat> they get paid 
per conversion also they get paid per impression don't forget about that the impressions they always get paid per impression but when they convert they would um facebook would always get would get paid too as for advertisement budget uh it depends it depends on what you're selling i'm not gonna say oh make your advertisement budget a hundred dollars a day that's that's a little that's a little steep ain't it um for me uh, my advertisement budget is like 25 dollars a day um and there's a column on the side where facebook will tell you um if what is your advertisement budget and it will show you who's likely to purchase per day like they will show you like i put 25 a day but okay four to seven people will purchase a day i put um if I put $30 a day, seven to 10 people would purchase. Like, it's just averaging. So they give you that prediction. But it will be really accurate if you set up the Facebook pixel correctly. That's why I really advise you guys to really watch that video thoroughly and see that how to set up the Facebook pixel. So how do I get sales? The conversion option and then the purchase conversion event. And there's a whole bunch of things that plays into a role into it too. You want to have like a nice, um, a trustworthy website. You know, you want to make sure everything is a whole and that would increase it even better. Currently at the moment, um, I stopped doing um, um, ads for now because of finals. And I didn't really want to get overwhelmed with finals and having to do orders so i turned it off but since i had the the conversion there and people like my products they were most likely to come back people were coming back and ordering some more and that's what makes me really happy because you got that you got those people that was that would come back and most likely order again and that's that's a good thing you want returning customers And as for wholesale, I don't know if I'm gonna still do wholesale, like filling in tubes, because to be honest, it was like not a distraction, but like school was like a little bit overwhelming. So I had to like close off certain wholesale items. But I don't know, should I like continue just to sell like the pre-made base yeah like the pre-made base or the starter kits i don't know but yeah i really i hope that this was very informative for you anybody out there like whenever if you put your mind into it you can do it don't let anybody you know take you down discourage you because I've been discouraged plenty of times. And I still, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Business is perfect. I'm saying like, still keep going. Still keep going. But also make sure, what I said before, make sure that everything is a whole, a trustworthy website, great advertise, advertising photos, you know something that would draw them in because even if you were to do the same steps that I did and there's no um, conversion, no actions being taken, that means that like something's still wrong on your part where you clear about what your item is, what the item's gonna do for the customer, why your item is so great, you know? You gotta take that to initiative to, like, you gotta tell them like, you know, why your product there why they need your product you know you gotta really be like that too so i just really hope that this video helped you and there's not that much videos like this out there not a lot of people know about facebook pixels and i'm glad that i was able to finally make this video oh yeah i was eating something but around my lips was um it was the Gloss by Nama J lip liner, the color brown. It was so smooth. Like, it's still on me. Making my lips look a little fuller. Yeah. 
so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you you know enjoyed your stay i hope my voice was calming i hope i wasn't too dist i hope i didn't get into like side conversations by accident like right now but yeah please um don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know in the comments below if you want any other um tips